currently 9.43. Wacky Wednesday opens at 10. Let's get it. Currently 9.54, six minutes. Let's go up to the front, guys. Honestly, I'm so tired. That's why I didn't do like my normal, what's going on, guys? I know I would keep this energy going, but I am so exhausted right now. I went to bed at like 4.30. The election didn't go on till like 2.30, so I stayed up for that, and then I kept watching YouTube, and then I started watching The Stranger Things on Netflix again. If anyone hasn't seen Stranger Things, you are definitely slacking. It is honestly one of the best shows. Also, Narcos. Um, so let's get it, guys. Uh, it's a nice day out, though. It's nice, cool. It's not that hot, but I think it's about to rain because it is a little stormy out. So we'll see how today goes. So that was a pretty good success. We did cup up on the little things. Uh, sorry I didn't like film as I was like finding the things. I just did it all at the end. I'm kind of waking up. I'm a little getting there. And also it is Wacky Wednesday. When it's Wacky Wednesday, you have to rush and get things. Otherwise people will 100% scoop you up. Like, did you see that guy? He bought every single shoe. That's the guy that I was telling you about. He comes every single week, gets every single shoe. And that's why we can never get any shoes because he takes all of them. So we are gonna continue our day, let's get it guys. By the way, I know you guys said the longer the better and a lot of you guys say you like long vlogs. As you guys saw, yesterday was a 40 minute vlog. So like, I was honestly thinking about doing 20 minutes, cutting it and then posting another video, like part one and part two. But I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you guys actually sit there and watch the 40 minute vlog or if I should start cutting things, like if I should start cutting trips to thrifts uh, in parts, maybe like 20 minutes each. Um, let me know in the comments below or if I should just continue what I'm doing. I know some people will go to like one store and make that a video, but I go to like 12 stores and make that one video when I could easily separate that and make it into like three videos. Like yesterday, I could have done a trip to the thrift as one video. I could have done a trip to Ross, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx as another video. And then I could have done trip to Target getting those pants as the third video. So I could have split that up in three videos yesterday, but I decided to give it all as one long vlog. So again, let me know what you guys think about that. And I am gonna get the, what do you call it? The Tommy Hilfiger patch denim hats before Black Friday. I decided that's gonna be like my Black Friday like release. I know everyone like how Kanye's doing like four Yeezys on Black Friday, how a bunch of shoes are dropping on Black Friday. My hats are gonna drop on Black Friday. So just be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be very limited, probably only 15 to 20 hats. Um, so they will be very limited. I'm probably gonna do half light denim, half dark denim. That way you guys get your preference. So I'll probably do like 10 of each or six of each. However hats I'm gonna do, but it will be very limited. And keep in mind the price um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna price them at. It depends how much I buy the hat for, and it depends how much I have to pay someone to actually sew it on for me. But I was honestly thinking about charging about $40 to $45 a hat. And the reason is, is you're like, Emilio, why? Like, why not just charge 25? I had to buy the jeans that had the patch on it. I have to buy the hat. I have to pay somebody to actually sew on the hat. And I have to pay someone to embroider the, the numbers like the one out of ten the 
whatever the case may be. So I'm probably gonna have about $30 already invested into this hat once like everything is said and done because the jeans I usually pick up for about six to seven dollars so figure that patch I'm spending six to seven dollars and then the hat I'm probably gonna spend about eight to ten dollars and then to get it sewed on is about another ten dollars so I'm not like I said I'm not trying to become rich off you guys I'm literally doing this just for fun I love thrifting I love making videos and I feel like the Tommy Hilfiger custom hat it'll be kind of like a little cool also I do like once my once you guys start getting not that's kind of messed up to say but once I get a bigger following uh, base like right now we're at 2,000 subs like once I get to 5,000 subs I'll probably do my own personal shirts like diamond in the rough shirts or EMC vlog merch um, I already have a really I already have a couple really good ideas that I haven't seen anyone do so I'm not gonna tell you guys just in case anyone wants to copy me so I'm gonna hopefully shoot for that. Uh, maybe I'll even make a couple of like, maybe I'll do like a trial run and maybe do like 50 shirts and just see how it goes, see how you guys like the design. Um, but we are actually about to pull up to Plato's Closet. Since we hit gold in Plato's Closet for the past, and uh, the last week's pickups, like all brand new attacks, I figured we're gonna start making this a daily thing. Not a daily thing, but a weekly thing. So we're about to go here, as well as there's a bunch of Goodwills around here. So today should be a good day. All right, let's hope we get lucky and find some brand new stuff with tags this time. Ugh. These are brand new in the box. All right, so that was a fail. They found some nice things, but honestly, Plato's Closet sometimes is smoking crack when they do their pricing. Like, that Jordan was nice, but for $18, like, that's what I want to sell it for. So, we didn't cop anything. We're gonna make our way to a Goodwill now, because we need those low prices, not those resale prices, so let's get it. So one of the first pieces I find, literally I was about to pass this up, just looks like a regular, you know, uh, black jacket. But then you look on the back, bam. This hoodie seems like it's almost brand new. We got the Mickey Mouse embroidery, and then on the back. Huge FUBU. Tampa Bay Puffer Goose Style Jacket. The huge embroidery right there. Literally straight off the rack, Polo Jeans Co. But there's no sleeves on this, it's just like a big parka. Got this color blocking Nike with New York City Marathon on the back. All right guys, that was definitely a come up. Huge entire bag, mainly jackets because everyone's asking for jackets up north, so. We found some fire pieces. We're gonna hit up one more store and then head back home just because if I get any more stuff, I won't be able to upload inventory today. So let's get it. Guys, literally as I was walking in, this guy right there was wearing a Tommy Hilfiger like 90s jacket with the Tommy Hilfiger. I was like, yo, you wanna sell me that jacket? He's like, nah, nah. So hopefully he didn't like take everything that's in here, but let's see what they got. All right, so I've never had anybody actually like hit up a thrift before me, but clearly that guy took everything. There was not one single piece in there. And again, I wish I would have bought his jacket. I literally pulled up and right next to me, all I see is a Tommy Hilfiger embroidery on the sleeve. And I'm like, oh my God. Literally hop out without even like pulling out the camera. I wish I would have recorded. I was like, yo, let me buy the jacket. He's like, nah, man, I got a couple jerseys in there, but uh, there's not nothing good. So I figured, like, what the heck, might as well. Maybe he missed something, but he did not miss anything. And I wish I would have just thrown a number out there. I feel like if I would have said, like, 80 bucks, then maybe he would have. But since I just said, you want to sell me that jacket, he's like, oh, no, I know this is a high-ticket item or a high-fashion item. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. You know, that's going to happen. So clearly, he won it. But we did pick up some fire things today. 
So I am gonna head back home right now, upload all this to the inventory, show you guys the recap, upload yesterday's inventory. It is 12.30, so this video should be up early, maybe, who knows? We'll see, I guess. Captain! What up, guy? Hi! 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 Talk to the people. Are you talking to them? You gotta talk to them. They wanted to hear you speak. What up, guy? <laughs> I know, but I'm home early. I'm home early. Hold on, Dad, I got a scratch. Got a scratch, hold on. Can you sit still? <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Oh, okay. Someone's happy to see me. All right, guys, so let's just jump straight in because we do have a bunch of stuff. We got this size XL Tampa Bucks jacket. This is like a, a eh, it's like a goose style, like not in the sleeves, but it is a heavy coat. And on the back, we have a huge patch. This hat I might keep because it is so fire, but it is a Mickey Mouse dad hat. And if you notice, it has all the different Mickey Mouses throughout the years. And then Walt Disney World. So I might keep this. I'm going to try to restore it and see if I can bring this back to life because it is kind of flat. So if I can push it back up, then I'm probably going to keep this. We got size XL again, brand new with tags. You guys can see got Ralph Lauren with like a pit bull or it seems like it's like a pit bull In like the green and yellow colorway everything that you see right now is going to be on my website for sale link down below um, and everything from yesterday's haul is gonna be up so make sure you guys check it out get it before you can first come first serve this piece I might keep again it is so fire it's like the staple with like the aqua and if you notice it's like a jersey mesh on the sleeve and on the back it has bird poop from the pigeon so this piece is super fire it's a size xl but it's shrunken up so it fits like a large so this might stay in the personal collection or i might price it high and if one of you guys want to buy it at the price i put it at then so be it but i think i might keep that some FUBU Flame, size XL, but fits like a large probably. And like this big fleece material. I did realize when I was checking out that the zipper is broken, but I'm sure it can be an easy fix. I'm sure like, oh, I might be able to fix them by myself. All you got to do is put that in and then it'll start working. But as you guys can see. Size medium, vintage Nike tag, Nike windbreaker in like this aqua blue colorway. You have orange Nike embroidered right there. On the back bottom, like where the butt is, it has a zipper pocket and then a vent right here so it's super breathable. But I thought the back pocket is pretty nice. And it has these elastic, which I don't really know. Maybe it's a packable, maybe you can pack this up. I'm not too sure, maybe it's just like a, uh, I don't know. And it does seem like it has some 3M hits. I could be wrong, like throughout there. Again, size medium. This is a fire Nike windbreaker. This is size medium also. We actually found a lot of small stuff, so small and medium, stay tuned. Nike embroidered right there 
On the right side, we have New York Marathon. On the back, we have New York Marathon with a huge Nike check. New York Marathon is cracking, but the Nike check is pretty good condition. Black with blue and red color blocking. This piece is very fire. Again, a size medium. It does seem like it's a little big though, so it might be like a big medium. I'll try everything on and once I list it on my website, I will say what it fits like. The other day I found a jacket that's similar to this at Goodwill and someone actually commented on the video asking me if it was a smaller medium and I actually found a similar one in a size medium in like the forest green with the cobalt blue. It's just like a simple nice jacket. It has two pockets up front and it is like spandex at the bottom so it's gonna be a tight like bomber style fit. This piece is so fire and honestly I'm kind of confused by it. Um, I'm guessing it's like a rain parka because it doesn't have any sleeves. It's like a bat. If I can even get this on camera. Maybe I'll try this on and show you guys. But it is a vintage Polo Jeans Co. As you can see tag right there. This says size large. If it'll focus. And on the front it has this huge pocket. It says Polo Jeans. Oh, it actually has two zippers. So as you can see, it's that nice deep kangaroo pocket. And then right there. And like I said, I want to say this is like a raincoat. Like, if you guys can see, there's no arms. So this is like a Kanye piece. Like... Actually, I really want to try this on. Let's try this on, guys. Yeah, it's like a, a huge parka, like raincoat, but it is kind of fire. It's like I said, it's like Yeezy inspired. I don't know if it's Yeezy inspired, but it's vintage. It's dope with a kangaroo. You know, you're chilling, you're vibing. I feel like I'm wearing a cape. It's actually pretty fire, not gonna lie. It does kind of feel like a dress on me though. Ho! 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 <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Alright, let's get back into this haul. Let's adjust the camera. The camera. Ah. All right, so we found this size small. It might be a girl's or it might be a guy's. Actually, no, I guess it's a guy's shirt, but it's brand new MGM Grand, and on the back it says 1993. All embroidery with like huge lion, MGM Grand Las Vegas. This is a size small. Jumping into bag number two, this Nike like anorak style windbreaker. As you can see in the gray front pouch. And then it does have a, a collapsible hood that you can zip up. On the back it says Nike. And this is a size large. A size large LRG in the Rasta print. And if you notice it is a collab with LRG. You have the lion head. This piece I actually passed up last time I was at the thrift, but I feel like it's a nice simple and it looks brand new, honestly. Um, it looks like it's never been worn. But it, we have the Mickey Mouse embroidered right there. And this navy zip up hood. On the back. Walt Disney. And this is a size XL. So this jacket I almost slept on and I almost passed up. Honestly, guys, if you look at it, it looks just like a red, like, red typical bomber, right? And then on the sleeve, it had... Where did it go? It had this. And if you guys don't know what that is, then I reverse it inside out, because this is a reversible jacket, which is so fire. The reverse side is black. And we have... Drum roll, please. Does anyone know what that M stands for? 
because if you guess Marlboro, then you are right. As you can see, red inside, black outside, reversible Marlboro. Like, this is like a, I guess you could say a bomber. Um, it doesn't have a size on it. I will look in the tag, I will look in the pockets, but I don't believe that there's a size on here. I'll try it on. The way it looks, it looks like about a large to XL. I could be totally wrong though. It might even be a medium. But as you guys can see, huge embroidery right there, Marlboro. Such a fire piece, almost slept on it. Like, that's why you have to literally pick through everything because you don't know what's there. It's a nice, simple, reversible jacket. I love reversible jackets because it's like two-in-one package deal. But as you can see, it's a nice champion logo right there with the black. On the inside, we have a baby blue fleece material. And it does have champion in gray for when you want to rock the light blue side, if that will focus. There it is. So again, reversible, and this is a size, large. Package deal, I'm doing size large champion, but these are a long sleeve. You're gonna get a black one, and you're gonna get a white one. The white one has a silver logo as well, so you will get two of these as a package deal. I thought this shirt was actually pretty fire, if you notice, it's like a tie-dye, but it's like acid drips. And this whole entire t-shirt is like this. This is a size large. As you guys can see, like such a sick shirt. Vintage Florida Marlins. And you notice like the gray with the inner lying of the turquoise. This is from 1996. Size small, Blink-182 Tour shirt. This is from 2009. Another size small. This timestamp is from 1976, guys. This is such an old shirt. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger tags. This is a size large. We got a vintage Tommy turtleneck. The nice simple navy with the flag embroidery right there. And again, this is a turtleneck. I usually don't cop Bob Marley tees, but I felt like this one's really nice. Usually you see Bob Marley tees in black, gray, red. I never see one in like this cobalt blue. But as you can see, it's his whole face. And then on the back, it has Bob Marley scripted. This is a size XL, and it's actually from Zion, which is his official brand. Size XL, we got this DGK. I feel like it was just like, I love this picture. Motivational, you got stacks of money. Then on the back, you have DGK all day. And for the final piece today, we have a size medium, Miami Dolphins. This is from 1994, guys. So that wraps up today's trip to the thrift. Again, all this will be for sale, and I do have permanent sale like categories now. You'll see new inventory, which will be all the new inventory for the past couple days or for the week. You'll see a $8, you'll see a $12, and you'll see a $16. That's $8 shipped, $10 shipped, or no, sorry, $8 shipped, $12 shipped, and $16 shipped. All those prices are out the door. I do free shipping on all my orders, but those are like my sale categories. So a bunch of these stuff will be on that. So make sure you guys check the link down below. If you don't see it, look in the new inventory. And if you don't see it on there, send me a DM on Instagram at DITR954, and I'll make sure to get it to you or if it's sold or whatever the case may be. But I will show you guys all this right there. And right there, that's all going up on today. Like I said, yesterday's haul and today's haul. So make sure you guys check out all the new inventory. Smash it again. I ship out the next day, two-day shipping. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Check out yesterday's video. It's a 40-minute video. 
Let me know if you guys like these long vlogs or if I should split them up like part one, part two, part three. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're almost at 2,000 subs, guys. I thought I was going to do it this video, but we're like 20 subs away, so I can't do it right now. So tomorrow, we should be at 2K subs. So stay tuned for the giveaway details. Don't forget, guys. Let's get it. 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 Let's get it, guys. That girl is a real crowd, please Small world, all her friends know of me Young 